Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at CrowdStrike stock. So this is something I have been talking about from last, well, many weeks now or a month around since the time we had this massive crash on the news that CrowdStrike blew up, right? I mean, the, the, the whole industry was down, but if you have been seeing my videos from there and on, you know, I have been saying that this has been an overreaction and I provided you these some levels back then these red lines at the bottom that this is where price would most likely start to at least first rebound and then will come back up to the blue box. So I'm not going to go back in the details of how these red line came. So, I mean, just check out those videos guys on my channel. All right, you can just go to the search bar here on my channel and type in CrowdStrike CRWD, the symbol and the playlist would show up similarly for all other stocks as well. And speaking of that, if you want to check out NVIDIA, Tesla, other semiconductors, Palantir, S&P 500, uh, KiggyQ, everything. All the stocks I cover are on my channel here. Lately, I have done NVIDIA earnings fees, week massive squeeze, potentially check it out here on my channel if you are interested. And also, if you want to check out my dividend investing channel, link to this channel is also in the description of this video building a public facing portfolio check out how things are looking like what decisions i'm making everything check out all right now so crowd strike um so as you know i talked about last time also that this is where this particular week um, and based on when you are seeing this video which means the last week I talked about I would be taking out 50% of my position that I started building over here. Now, technically, I didn't build down over here. I started building up here. And then also, um, if I turn on my structural indicator, you can use, if you need access to my tools, links in the description below. And we turned bullish structure here in this ongoing rebound and uptrend. And then this blue box is what I was targeting. Technically, we are still in the bullish structure, but I'm seeing some slowdown. And it's not surprising to me. I mean, the slowdown is fine because I expected this to happen in this blue box. That's why we have this blue box here, first of all, right? Now, yes, I have, I'm only left with around maybe 40 to 45% or 50% of my position. I have taken out most of it that I built over here in partial profits. And now I want to talk about what are the cases that I'm seeing. Now, the reason I'm booking here is because, first of all, this is an area of slowdown and resistance that I predicted. Um, due to this previous strong resistance level which previously were support levels and that's why this blue box came and then we're also below 200 days moving average still so the next big move so let's talk about that like what are the possible use cases that may arise from here right now the next big move i do expect only to happen well there there's one more well okay one big move would be only if we get above 50 hour 50 days moving average and 200 days moving average and in my opinion, it may take a while. It may not happen just in a week or two weeks or three weeks, in my opinion. Again, if I see the price action strong, if I see a green candle like that, just getting into the blue box super strong, then possibly, yes. But if we most likely start to slow down here, and, we, and I'll show you the levels on the hourly interval in just a second, and we start to do a pullback, then there is a chance we'll come down to $250 plus. And if we lose this level, then again, it's a waiting game. Then we have to see where it's going to find again that structural supports. But if we come down to 250, that's where a potential sign of pullback is. And then we'll have to see that how strong it comes back up and in the blue box, right? But until then, 200 days moving average is going to slow down. 50 days moving average is going to come down. So that may also form a double top. So what I'm trying to say, if we start to slow down here, and pullback start to come it might be quite some time now before we see a next big move to the upside all right if we do a pullback here and if we lose 250 to the downside then we are again coming down so the reason being yes it was an overreaction as i was saying this was the time to build some position this is the time i'm taking some partial profits because of the scenarios how they may play out from here on and remaining position i'm just going to keep holding right for my long-term portfolio again remember my crowd strike plan was a trade in a for some of the position and then the remaining position for the long-term portfolio of mine keep holding and if it crashes more build into it that's how i'm playing crowd strike 
Now let's go to the hourly interval and I want to turn on my structural indicator that is for easy day and swing trading and I don't know if I told you but if you need access to my tools links are in the description below of this video. All right so let's go back to let's go to the hourly interval now and a couple of things that I want to talk about here. So that slowdown uh, we are still above the cloud the green cloud if we stay above it, sure, we are fine. But again, as I said, the big move is like we want to see a great, great green strong candle. If we start to submerge into this green cloud and then start to lose levels to the downside, like level 265 and 55 cents, if we start to lose it, then consider 261 and 78 cents or 200 hours moving average, then we'll see if it holds, right? So technically, it's in an, up, uh, in an uptrend still. Um, so... As if it continue to hold it, it may go choppy, stay up here. But the thing is that if the more upside move you are waiting, it's going to be a game of patience here. And anytime if you lose 200 hours moving average and level of 261, then we are watching 250 with 20 days moving average and seeing if that eventually holds a support, right? So that's that. So technically, um, levels to watch are, so let's turn this thing off levels to watch in this little bit of a patience if the pullback happens that is 261 and if we lose that then level of 250 as a long-term potential play on the upside if we lose 250 as well then we will have to wait a lot more longer but until then these pullbacks can keep it strong yeah i know if we lose this 200 we come down to 250 pull back over here might again we'll have the, what I'm trying to say is that until then, there is you can still remain bullish, but your probability level by level is going to go lower and lower and below 250, your probability as of staying as a bull is negligible. All right. So that's that's what I'm trying to say. Here. It's all the game of probability, managing your portfolio or managing your money in and, in and out, sizing in. It's the game of that. And you have to go with a plan of attack for where's your most probability falling, right? Right. Right now, the most probability is it's a game of patience now. That's where crowd strike is. All right. So um, the ne definitely the it, it depends on what the price action would do. As I said, if you see a strong green candle come like this, then you can expect the, the continuation just to continue up from here. Otherwise, if you go through pullbacks, the next big move will require some patience and some choppiness. And then eventually we'll see where it, it finally gets above 250 days moving average. Then only I expect an upside. So I do expect some, you know, there's a possibility unless we see a strong green candle. There's a possibility that we might go through some time of patience, slow down, pullbacks, and that's, that's likely. So I won't be surprised if that happens. Let's go to the five minutes interval as well. So... On the five minutes interval, um, here we are. And again, you can use my tools as well, right? For day trading, swing trading, especially this one. I again, this is a combination of both day trading and swing trading. This particular day, since we remained choppy, there was not really much point, right? We stayed mostly within the cloud. But here you go. You know, this is where the day prior, um, we had a little bit of upside, but once things start to structure, start to turn red, even up from there, uh, right, and sometimes what also ha helps is that turning the settings to candle style to flow, just to get the sentiment of the flow or the sentiment of the, you know, uh, the candle structure, the direction. And you can see once we start to come red, get got into the red, and eventually it was a bloodbath for the whole day. Right, again, and you can see ultimate rejection as well at that cloud underneath of the cloud and all of that. Anyway, so that's CrowdStrike, guys, um, for this video. And yeah, let's see, you know, again, I gave you the levels to watch pretty much on either direction. And just before wrapping up, I want to go back to the hourly interval here again. And I, I want to take actually look at weekly interval as well. Yeah, so yeah, it all comes down to even for intraday, if we continue of 273 right up from here, you know, you may expect some upside again right but uh anytime if we start to lose 20 and 50 hours moving average then eventually 265 where the cloud is also uh, yeah you are expecting slowdown and cool off and choppiness right, let's go to the weekly interval before wrapping up and so weekly interval 
nothing special guys it's just that technical you know that area of resistance is what we are running into here right so we'll see and then if i extend this box back here you can see it's a prior area of now resistance as well right so yeah so things a little bit and they have a chance of slowing down just remember that and then long-term portfolio plan still remains the same of mine that remaining position I'm going to keep holding and if it falls much lower then maybe going to add more right um, and um, yeah the and just keep in yeah well no I think I don't yeah I mean <laughs> yeah I think this is enough information other information is not that uh, important to make decision what I was going to say so I'm just not gonna because the more I would provide you more information and if it's not that important it's just gonna you know uh, may add to some confusion for you right so i don't want to you know add to any confusion all right that's it and i'll see you in my next videos guys take care bye